Hey guys, Brad and the Buff. I got my buff in my head and I'm ready to go. It's me and Steve here, we're getting ready to finish out Pennsylvania. We have been on the road since four in the morning to try to make our mileage in today. We're definitely gonna be into some night hiking on this trip, just the way that uh, you get about nine hours of sunlight. We're close to the darkest time of the year. So you gotta get your mileage in. And we got into some weather on the way in. You can see, I don't know if you can tell really well, my car got iced over. This is sometimes the price you pay to get into an adventure. It started uh, with the snow coming over the mountains. So we're going to head to the starting point, hit the trail, and I'll check in with you guys in this video. It's pretty cool, you know, because like... Hitting the trail, we, we had a quick intro. You can see things are going down quickly. We've only got a few hours of sunlight left and we got way behind because the roads got pretty nasty in the last uh, hour of travel. So it ended up taking us about double the time. Um, so we, we got to get on the trail, get moving. We got a big climb starting off. Should be a great day. I love the snow and um, we're gonna look forward to getting this thing done today and get in. It is coming in windy, snowy, and cold, just the way we like it, right, Steve? Crazy day out here. <laughs> this is awesome. I might be singing a different tune tomorrow, but I mean, honestly, this is the stuff that we live for. These awesome weather, it's so beautiful out here with the snow. I do love winter hiking. I just, as long as you're geared out and you're a little crazy, you it's a whole. To ourselves. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, you get, it's like nobody else is out here. We don't know why. <laughs> so we just uh, came across this tent that is abandoned. We're not sure how long it's been here. It could just be last night. But uh, nothing in there. Looks like maybe some of the tent crawls broke. Brad and I have an over under bed <laughs> on how many backpackers we'll see out here. He said he expects to see three or less. <laughs> and I took the over on that. So we'll find out who's right in the end. I feel really good about my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like he was bringing up some example. We have stuck it too. <laughs> but like they done well. Where, oh, there it is. I've never seen it on a slab before. Windsor Furnace. You see Katana? Yeah. 965. We're stopped, just real quick stop at the Windsor Furnace Shelter. We are about to get into the night hiking section of the trip in about the next 30 minutes. It is getting cold. Uh, we're already wet. 
Um, we chose to jack it up. We got one more incline, then we're on the ridge line, probably at the windiest time of day. But we do got a fully enclosed shelf tonight, so that should keep the, the uh, wind off of us. Um, it's not here, it's eight miles away. Yeah, we still, we still got eight miles, so we're gonna be out for quite some time. Uh, but we're just gonna take chill for a minute, get jacketed up and uh, continue on with our hike. Sun is very, very close to going down. We got kind of the last lick of it here. So I don't know how much uh, more video I'm going to be doing, but it is really beautiful. We're towards the top of our last climb for today. These rocks, just the snow covered on them. Uh, we got pretty cold there at the shelter. We were second guessing ourselves. But sometimes all it takes is just one more layer and uh, we both put on our puffy jackets and had a place for our hands to go and attitudes went up dramatically. So warm hands changes everything. <laughs> warm hands changes everything. All right, hopefully I can get a couple night shots in. If not, I'm sure I'll check in at the shelter. We still got seven miles, I'd say. Huh? Oh yeah, there's these tracks of snow we've been following for, I don't know, maybe a mile. Someone went on a winter hike. It looks like, it looks like a winter run. I'm intrigued to see when they turn around or if they're doing a loop or if there's somebody out here with us. I assume if there is, we'll see them at the shelter. They're not too far ahead of us. Oh, I gotta pay attention. Branches are falling everywhere. get the wind from getting me it's a really looks like it'd be a nice overview but you can't see jack right now check it out it's awesome up here we just ran to some people coming through hiking sharing the winter with them and they feel the same way i do you know you got to get out a little they bit hiking not not back you not count towards the back see we are in headlamp mode mood <laughs> total darkness there is still so many cool things to see everything's like frosted over uh, it's kind of like rain sleeting right now which sucks but man our puffies are awesome if you want to invest in anything invest in good jackets because they are lightweight and it makes all the difference in the world but uh might get a few cool shots of some of these branches but still marching along Echoville shelter here we are we're going in we are soaked and we are wet and we are ready for dinner there's a little block here ah home sweet home for the night we are happy to be in and be out of the rain oh okay there is steam coming off of my backpack from how cold it is compared to how hot the back of my back was made it through the night at the echoville shelter uh we were in pretty down mood when we came in we sucked it up we do have reception here so we were actually able to catch a little bit of the uh, thursday night football game which was awesome um seahawks won no they did not win the 49ers <laughs> clinched the division i was i was trying to spare you he's a seahawks fan i'm a niners fan but um we um we were pretty tired we we both slept really well spirits are up it's the rain stopping um, we almost weren't able to find any water, but there is a caretaker in the house that hooked us up. Um, he, he shuts off the water, I guess, to the outside for the winter, which we didn't know. So we tried the spigot. It didn't work as described in the book. 
but um, he came out and filled up all our water stuff. So that was very helpful. So we, we don't have a real long day today. We don't have a ton of time to waste, but we're just kind of chilling in the morning. We're going to have to get out early the rest of the days, but uh, just enjoying our, our breakfast. Got some piping hot coffee here or oatmeal and uh, recharging ourselves here in the Eccleville shelter. Leaving the Eccleville shelter, a little bit rainy out, but not too bad. Definitely warmer than it was last night. Hopefully the rain and the snow together do not make for a slick ascent. We got a little bit over a thousand foot climb starting off the day. So hopefully that goes well. Uh, literally been tough sledding up this thing been sliding i think we're close to top of our big climb today we are at hawk mountain sanctuary so we are not going to do the two and a half mile side hike if you guys can believe that <laughs> but uh we're pretty close to the top that should allow us to slip into our puffies which we're very much looking forward to and uh we should be like four miles maybe from the shelter something like that so the shelter take a for like a break. Yeah, shelter for a break. Not for the day. We just started on the long ago. <laughs> we are at Dan's Pulpit Overlook. Um, there must have been a preach or something because the last big lookout was Pulpit Rock. So now we're at Dan's Pulpit. Um, you can see the overlook. I mean, it's a little bit less beautiful considering that you can't see anything. Uh, one of the cool things, check out like there's the front side of the tree. It's normal, and then the, the back side has like a sheet of ice on it from the wind blowing it and freezing it. So that's kind of cool. We're, um, we're having a little bit of a struggle today because the snow is slick. It's making it significantly harder. So we're thinking about reconfiguring the hike to kind of deal with the weather. So. We might stay out one extra night because 25 on Sunday sounds optimal the best conditions <laughs> which are not what this is <laughs> yeah we planned this months ago we have a big long day the last day but we're not so sure that it wouldn't be wiser to break it up a little bit so we're we're contemplating we don't have to make that decision probably till midday tomorrow and fortunately all work environments and families are doing like nothing the week <laughs> of christmas so we've got the ability to possibly reconfigure with low impact <laughs> yeah with so that's Always leave a little bit of wiggle room, I guess, is, uh, is the theme here. Anyways, we're going to keep on going. Check in with you guys later. Yeah, there's a marker up here. We are at the Balanced Rock Overlook. This is like the first time we've actually seen anything below us because we've been in a rain cloud. The rain, uh, the rain has kind of stopped, which has really helped a lot. Um, we're hoping we kind of dry out along the trail. Steve's right behind me here. <laughs> and uh, really not taking much of a break, but I just want to take a minute and look at this, uh, this overlook here. We are at the Allentown Shelter. This has been a long eight miles. Um, and because of that, we're making some thoughts, like I said in the last video about what we're gonna do. We made an adjustment on the fly. There is a hostel uh, about five miles from here that we decided that that was probably the best idea to stay up. We might end up breaking up the rest of the trip um, differently than we had planned or just canceling. We don't know yet, all the options are open. Walking on the snow, we're sliding all over the place and it's taking a lot more energy than what the miles that we had planned out for called for. I mean, we got a 24 mile day in here and that would probably take us like 15 hours. Yeah, so <laughs> we got to either redo something or uh, cancel the trip. But that's that's one of the cool things about the backpacking is like, as long as you're, you know, you have your stuff with you, you can just do things on the fly. So in another way, it makes it awesome. Like we've been, it's given us like two hours of like, oh, do we do this? Do we do that? It's fun to explore the possibilities. Yes, it's fun <laughs> to explore the possibilities and make like wise decisions. 
I mean, even aside from the time losses, there's a safety issue with us like sliding all over the place. So um, we're actually taking, we haven't done this in probably what, like two years. We've taken like a longer hot lunch in a shelter. No, we did it. We did it um, that one, the one trip uh, not too long ago before Damascus. So anyways, we're enjoying the hot lunch. We got a lot more time on our hands because we caught five miles off today. Super cool shout out to the hostel. Um, the owner there. So it's the hostel just after Allentown. Like she called me back, like took care of everything. I'm super stoked about that. So we'll give another shout out. The owner's name is Bernadette. Was super nice to talk to and made it super easy. So we were worried it was going to be closed. Um, so a little bit of trail magic there. Um, anyways, we're going to eat and continue down the trail. We are staying in a hostel tonight. The lookout, it uh, worked out. We actually had dinner at an awesome, I mean, we didn't get any video there. I took a picture. Yeah, we it's have some picture. pictures. Um, what was it called? The something in, I don't know. It was awesome. I got some pictures. I'll put them in the video. It was fantastic. Yeah. Um, probably the best place we've eaten on the trail. Super hiker friendly. Super hiker friendly. Um, and so anyways, like this gives us kind of a new lease on life. We got everything dried out. One of the cool things about the AT is there are places like this. There's hostels. I use an app called Far Out. It used to be called Gut Hooks and it has all that information in it. So like we were able to like scan from the last shelter when we broke for lunch and just look around. So we decided to stay here just for the night, reschedule our trip. We're hoping that uh, if things are looking good tomorrow, we're, we're just gonna push on till the end and uh, get a little new lease on life here. So we're gonna try to get to bed early so we can get on the trail early and yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, we reset things. We're not gonna finish tomorrow. We're gonna do 13.6, 21, and then 15 on Monday. That's the plan. So on we got Monday. three more days. <laughs> yeah, we got three more days. So anyways, just wanted to give you guys an update. See you in the morning. We've had an awesome stay at the lookout. This was kind of like, they have a bunk room down here and a bathroom and a cool shower set up. And we're gonna go upstairs and eat for a little bit. Um, got everything dried out. So these hostels are a really nice way to kind of like, if you get into bad weather, we've used them a couple times um, or just a cool way to plan a trip to stay in the hostel at night. So we, we're recharged, we got our stuff dried off, there's a washer and dryer here, and um, we're gonna eat breakfast and hit the roads pretty early. Man. This is the first really good lookout that we've actually been able to see at. Beautiful, sun is up, we are dry, we're making good time, the snow is not too slick. So we're feeling pretty positive about today. It's funny the big highs and lows. About eight miles in yesterday, <laughs> we were contemplating completely different thoughts than we are about this point today. So a little, one night to get dry, a beautiful sunrise, hiking out in the morning. It's got the sweet campsite here too. I wish in a different world we would have camped up here last night, <laughs> but not in 25 degree weather with water everywhere. Anyways, we're gonna keep on moving along the trail. Another sweet overview. Uh, we just ran into the guy that's the caretaker for this area. He says he comes up here about every day. He said we're gonna hit some of the best views in all of PA along today. So I think this is what they call the knife's edge area. Um, we're coming off and you can kind of see your, 
in between a lot of rocks and it's pretty steep on each end it's a comes to an absolute ridge line here so we we were thinking about doing this last night i i think we're glad we didn't <laughs> uh, we would have managed but it's a little bit safer to do during the day so we're going to cross over the nice edge we're not too far from the shelter uh, we're going to stop there that we were thinking of staying at last night and maybe just stop for a minute check out the shelter and head on in Pennsylvania has been like a super well-marked state, lots of cool features in it. We've recently been coming across all these like little obelisk pillar uh, cement forms like marking. So this one says the Lehigh Company. Um, the last one said uh, Scalata, <laughs> what is it Steve, Shoefly? Shuttle, it's the name, Skull? Skugle. So there's like the school area. So these pillars are just like throughout, it's kind of cool. We're almost to the baked oven knob. Uh, we're gonna stop up there and take a look. And what? that this is the baked oven knob overview uh, the caretaker caretaker we met earlier said that he thought this was the best view in Pennsylvania from the AT and it's living up to the hype um, Go that way. yeah it's it's really beautiful out here I mean it's almost 180 degrees if not a little bit more than that really stunning especially with all the snow and everything look at that sunlight coming through awesome view we're gonna chill here and then get to the shelter Whatever these things are, I think it's something alive. Look, you can see them moving. It's the weirdest thing. I have no idea what that is. So strange. Holy cow, this is a baked oven knob shelter. Sweet overlook.
Coming up on another shelter to hang out in in a minute, for a minute. We may stay the night here, we may not. We don't, I think it's called the George Overbridge Shelter, something like that. So we're gonna stop in here and take a break at minimum. At max, stay the night, it's pretty cool. Okay, we have changed plans yet again. <laughs> um, we're gonna push an extra six miles. We got to the uh, George Overton Bridge Shelter, whatever it was called. I'm not exactly sure if that's the right name, but we decided that we could make another six miles. We're gonna stay at another hostel tonight, um, just off of, uh, I think it's called the Blue Ridge Road or something like that. There's a ski resort up there and um, there's a hostel and the owner's name is Rooster and she's gonna pick us up at the top of the road and shuttle us down. And then uh, she's gonna drop us back off in the morning, but it just makes our day tomorrow a lot easier. The main reason we're doing this is because we need to get more miles in today, but there's no water on the trail in the spots that we could possibly camp at or advance to, so. Yeah, we're, we're, there's a big like 20 mile gap here where we either got to do 25 miles or like 12. <laughs> but we, if we do 12, then we have a huge day the last day. And I, I'm, we have to get out of here for, you know, our family reasons. And so we're just trying to piece together a trip that isn't crazy or insane. and doesn't leave us destroyed because we still want to have fun. But, uh, you know, it's, it's still enjoyable. And so... Um, so we'll see, it's kind of weird because we have not seen more than, I'd say 15 feet of no snow since, we, literally since we started, until the very top of this last mountain. And then once the snow disappeared, we haven't seen any since on the trail. It was like, we'd hiked for like 30 miles, 40 miles with like four inches of snow or less and then all of a sudden it just disappeared and now there's no snow anywhere so it's kind of i mean you can see behind me no snow anywhere well, so a lot of the snow was coming down as we were driving yeah to set up the cars for this trip and it did stop about three-fourths of the way up on the drive to get that so we might be better here to the north yeah well, yeah it might have it might have missed over this area i'm not sure but it is wild and like it's a whole new world <laughs> So anyways, we're gonna get in. We're trying to get uh, up this hill before it gets dark and we'll end up night hiking for probably about an hour and a half. So be it. sun setting behind us yeah. this is a crazy overlook here that's awesome but we gotta hurry up to get off these rocks before it gets dark so we're trying to move along wish we had more time to enjoy it but you can see how beautiful it is snow's back baby Another nice lookout. I know I keep putting these in here. Off in the distance, those lights right there, that's the ski resort. We're gonna be just below that tonight. So really sweet section. That might be the most treacherous uh, climbing and rock area we've done coming up on the entire AT that we've seen so far. So um, 
Anyways, we're we're just here at sunset. City lights below us, and uh, we're heading in. Okay, we just had a stay in the Country Inn Deluxe Suite. Um, we were not planning on this, but like I said, we had a change of plans. Very nice. Um, the owner of this place, uh, their name is Rooster, and she picked us up at the top of the hill and uh, took us into town real quick. So we got some like chicken and uh, brownies and went to town. It was awesome. So we got the chill in a really nice place. She gives a really nice deal. Very nice. Uh, we really appreciate it. And she's going to drop us back off at the trailhead in, uh, this morning here in about 10, 15 minutes. So we really enjoyed this. Really helped a lot. We kind of got stuck because if we just stayed out tonight, if we, we wanted to get more miles in, but there was no water for like 10 miles. So we were in a really bad spot where we really couldn't stay out with the water that we had. And um, we just planned on staying here and it worked out really well. So... We're going to get back on the trail and reconfigure everything when we're up there and figure out what we're doing tonight. But um, another really nice stay. Thank you, Rooster. See you guys on the trail. On the trail. Feeling pretty good. I think the most likely scenario today is we're doing uh, 15 miles. And staying at a hostel in Wind Gap. Um, <clears throat> so we don't have too bad of a day. We got out fairly early, which means we should get in early. And then we're going to try to be out super early the next day. Uh, one little climb. And we're hoping for some really nice terrain the rest of the day. So we're getting to it. Right behind us is the Blue Mountain Ski Slopes. You can get the ski patrol house right there. Yeah, I'm there's, a, there's a ski patrol. It doesn't really come up in the film, but we can hear people skiing and having a joyous time in the snow all behind us. But we're just going to hike on through. Hope they're having fun. If you look carefully on the sign here, apparently we are at the Ball Sack Vista. It's uh, right on the sign here. So we're just hanging out here for a minute and uh, enjoying the views. We just stopped for uh, the World Cup final. Woo. It was awesome. We had my cell phone had service. We found a couple rocks out here. And so we stopped for lunch and uh, finished up. France versus Argentina it was an amazing game. But man, it, we are lit up today just from watching that game, ready to finish up. We got about six miles. 
left today, but what an exciting way to watch a game. We were shocked we had it on the on the cell phone. Stop, boiled some snow, and uh, just sat outside and, and watched uh, one of the greatest. Uh, had some hot toddies. Yeah, hot toddies. Uh, we're, we're feeling good, and it was awesome. All right, so we're going to keep pushing in. You can do anything from the trail. <laughs> At a quick crossroads, we think we're going to skip the shelter since we had a stop to watch the World Cup game and kind of got recharged there. Steve got his last hikers <laughs> to get him over top for the bed. So he <laughs> backpackers, yeah. So he has, he's, we've seen five now. So that puts him over the top. I owe him a beer. <laughs> but we're going to keep on hiking. We don't got too much further, maybe like five miles today, something like that. First check-in of the day. We got up about five o'clock to get out with the sun. Uh, we're trying to get into the cars today early. It is the coldest I think it's been since we've been out here. The wind whipping across the snow feels fantastic. But we got a nice look out here. We got good rest. We had to stay in a place called the Gateway. Last night it, it, it worked for what we needed it to do. Um, but you know, based on how we had to change up the trip because of weather conditions, uh, it fit what we needed it to do. So got to bed early, got up early. We got to walk with the sun, which was great. Great lookout. So we're looking forward to finishing up today. Stopping for a real quick lunch here at Kirk Ridge Shelter. Very nice shelter. It's probably the nicest one we've seen the whole trip. Um, it's got a great view right out in front. So, got a nice view. Got like some nice stands to like cook your food on and stuff. I love when they have setups like this. So there's benches and things. Um, so we're gonna hang out here for a minute, get some food. We're doing really good pace wise, so. Um, we're going to keep on trucking. I think we're going to make it out uh, ahead of schedule. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Stopping here at a really nice overlook. Uh, we don't know what the name of this one is. But this has probably been our second favorite uh, other than oven baked knob. Baked oven. Baked oven knob. Man, 
<laughs> what a beautiful day. Another nice overview. We were just talking about how it's impossible right now to tell what time of day it is based on the amount of light coming through. I just love the shot with the sun peeking through, um, but we could be up here at the crack of dawn. You wouldn't know. It could be just as the sun was going down, or it could be that we're up here about noon, which is about what time it is. So we're midway through the day. The clouds make it look like this. There she is, the mighty Delaware below us. Leaving the Delaware Gap. <laughs> New Jersey, here we come. New Jersey, Pennsylvania line, crossing out to another state. We did it. <laughs> That finishes up Pennsylvania. We were trying to make it here by two. It is two o'clock on the dot. We had a great trip. It was probably the most challenging trip we've done as far as logistics because of the snow and trying to figure out where to stay and water. But we finished and uh, man, I am excited. We did it. We did it. Jersey. We're gonna celebrate. We gotta finish Jersey and Tennessee South, but here we are. I'll see you guys next video. Hey guys, if you liked the video you just saw, please subscribe, click the bell so you can get alerted for any new videos that I may do. And check the links below for any information I described in the video. I'll try to put as much there as possible. Thanks for watching.